hello everyone welcome once again to investing with the difference so we are going to talk a few things about the market and some important eos uh, airdrop snapshot dates to remember and a quick uh, look at our voting and some announcements uh, from what we are planning in next few days so first of all i think i wanted to have a quick look at bitcoin chart because it's very important where we are heading right now while it's a great happy sign i think uh, the uh, bitcoin price and the market has moved up uh, quite a bit uh, from the days of uh, 6000 where people were worried about going down all the way below 6000 area uh, but we did another good consolidation and we have marched very nicely in a very very steep fashion so even though we see a lot of ups and downs on an hourly basis if you're watching very closely if you look at the daily chart you can see that it's a very steep up move uh, I'm happy that it is consolidated in the middle. You see some of these uh, charts. It's much better than what happened last time. But remember where we are heading. So we are heading towards some steep resistances. So this is the downtrend, which we are still not able to break. That is around 7,550 right now. And the uh, always dipping 200 day moving average. So you see that the biggest drops have happened. Uh, after touching this 200 day moving average, you see from here in April, then you saw it in uh, May. Uh, when it was very very steep fall and then again very close to 200 day moving average we started dipping again in july end so this has been the pattern i think uh, it's a very very important psychological mark and remember this 200 day moving average is dipping because of the prices below it and the good days when the price was higher are getting taken off from this 200 day because 200 days the recent 200 days the last 200 days and price being spending so much time here uh, this will keep dipping even if we do not go up uh, this 200 day moving average will keep coming down and meet us and then again uh, we have a risk of uh, going down so uh, watch out for the market i think we are still in a bear market unless we cross this uh, important critical resistance levels so i wanted to highlight that now coming back to eos world we did a quick uh, video on ledger nano s support i think it's very exciting but uh, we want you to know exactly what it means so we have uh, done a video just for you uh, to understand uh, what it means how do you plan around it what you need to do to really use ledger nano s uh, so please watch that and uh, other things to remember on uh, eos is of course the verbly which is the sister chain and they're doing a big airdrop of uh, 1 billion uh, tokens one is to one token airdrop and this is happening uh, the snapshot is on 7th september so please take out your tokens from exchanges put it in your wallets you still have three more days so please uh, do that and uh, own your own tokens then there is another airdrop uh, an airdrop which is coming is tribe uh, we have been posting our referral link uh, for the tokens uh, uh, because they are not doing one is to one and that snapshot is 11th september so please remember these dates 7th september 11th september and uh, for tribe you need to do air grab we did a video if you go to our channel and uh, we did a video on air grabs a few days back uh, so let me just point you to that video and uh, please watch that so i'm talking about this video which is uh, eos uh, airdrops air grabs uh, your tokens and also we have a link uh, for you to create an account so you need to do both actions to get tribe tokens and tribe is doing pretty well actually because uh, they're continuously gaining uh, in uh, the rankings so that's why i think it's going to be an important airdrops and verbally i reason i'm excited about that as uh, uh, as we have talked about in the past they are pretty solid team and they are now creating a very good backup uh, plan in terms of the sister chain they are actually lining up the one of some of the best block producers from eos world and uh, so i think a lot of people have been asking me what i think about uh, this in eos new york eos tribe some of the big block producers joining verbally and supporting sister chains what do i feel about it so i would say that it's a great thing because i think the infrastructure is in place these uh, block producers are already spending a lot of effort in creating eos ecosystem so it's not a bad idea i think uh, they also are not sure whether they will always remain in top 21 uh, there are a lot of dip factors which uh, work in that direction and if they are making a lot of investments they want to expand what they can do so i hope that uh, it doesn't suffer the mainnet itself doesn't suffer i don't see any signs of it because uh, i think uh, these are very good block producers which were really selecting and uh, it's not a bad thing for your ecosystem because as we talked about in previous videos uh, they are totally targeting a different kind of market which is uh, regulated which needs kycs and so on and uh, that cannot be done on the public mainnet uh, which needs to have uh, much more secrecy and uh, uh, no government control and regulations 
all right so these are the few things i wanted to talk about again we are continuously growing in our proxy so we will keep doing our efforts a few announcements uh, as i mentioned earlier we are starting our block producer series so the our focus will be on what these uh, the key block producers whom we are voting for we like we are going to highlight them we will do the a short interview on where they are heading and uh, some interesting questions so we are keeping it free format we are not trying to have come have them prepared for this interviews we are going to keep it uh, as it goes and uh, i think the focus is not to talk about political issues or any controversies the focus is on purely understanding where the these block producers are heading where do they see the eos uh, ecosystem heading and we will focus on mostly around uh, the block producers themselves what they are doing and uh, how they are booting this ecosystem so these are the things we are going to talk about we are and also uh, we will be continuously reminding you for this uh, voting and i think th i'm getting very very excited about how this community is evolving while the number of votes are increasing our proxy dk is continuously coming down so we have a very very educated community so thanks a lot for following um this directions and really spending time and refreshing the votes i think this is very important we need engaged voters we need engaged community and that's what we stand for and we will continue pushing for uh, uh the ref uh, the idea that we don't need proxy dk as anybody can change the proxy anytime so we will follow up on those things i hope that uh, once all the big ticket items are done we will definitely add that to the referendum list if uh, people can pay attention to that So this is all from us uh, for this uh, particular video. I just wanted to remind on few things, highlight you that uh, be careful out there if you are trading, because we are hitting some very soon within two hundred to five hundred dollar mark. We are hitting many major resistance levels. It can have an impact on EOS as well. But I think uh, overall it's uh, going to be very very interesting how this uh, overall crypto market evolves. And of course uh, about the airdrop snapshots, please remember those and uh, control your tokens. uh we cannot let exchanges uh, rule on airdrops we do not know whether they will support it or not so again thanks for joining please like our video use our referral course to help us grow and uh, to raise funds for the activities we are doing to keep uh, this community together and to build more and more resources for you uh, to learn about your ecosystem thanks again and uh, talk to you next time bye bye